the farmale, the little helper on the farm. Maybe your farm. This is time for part three. a doodle do the a's got a tag too that's right i've got the original tag off this tractor the guy that i bought it off of uh had it i guess when he stripped it all down he took it off and uh yep he brought it at the auction on saturday and this is the year it is right there 1947 boys and girls boom on that other side and come down the sun come out for about 20 minutes and the snow is gone it is still chilly but you can see the grounds still moist at the very least it's about as heavy as this dirt gets so this would be a good test for it I think it's definitely got the power to pull two bottoms I just don't know if it's got the power to pull two bottoms every single day of its life. Now I want to talk about tractor flip. Okay. I'm pulling this with just a regular bar. I've got it on my mind. Right here is the kill switch for the tractor. And right here is the clutch. That front end starts rising up. You push that clutch and you're going back down. Why? Because it takes it out of gear. Worst case scenario, I push the clutch in, I hit the kill switch. As long as this tractor doesn't hit 90 degrees up, I'm good. It's going back down. Now, I may break off every spindle I've ever dreamed of owning on a tractor on this thing. But it's going back down one way or another. As long as I don't allow it to break 90. And uh, things can happen pretty quick, so you got to be quick. Quick of feet and quick of hands. So... That's, that's really my own con only concern at this point in time. So we're going to set up in this furrow here. Let's see what we can do. It's part three. So clearly it's turning it it's pulling what depth i'm going which is only about three or four inches uh it needs adjusted right now it's adjusted for the h and uh that h draw bar sits i'm gonna tell you about three to four inches lower which is your difference here in the furrow and uh so we're gonna have to adjust these handles for the a and i'm doing it incrementally I ain't dropping the hammer all at once. This is just like a build-up to what it can do. But so far, so good. Now, I'm just going along in first gear. Uh, probably at least three-quarter throttle. It is turning some dirt. I mean, you can see, I don't know. Let's see, put my hand there. Give you a gauge. You know, it's... Yeah, probably... Four, I'm plowing probably four or five inches deep you can see right there it's catching it turning it yeah it's most definitely plowing little genius number eight let's go let's get these adjustments made one notch and I'm going to keep going and see if that evens the score. I'm just going to go notch by notch and get it even.
one. I think I got that uh, front hold board adjusted about as good as it's gonna get for this, this tractor. It's cut pretty nice. Uh, some spots I'm going about eight inches and then other, uh, you know, going about five. But uh, yeah, you can see it's doing a decent job. I should have come through here and burnt all this and got rid of a lot of the debris, the chaff and whatnot because I'm clogging up really bad. And, uh, you know, some of it has to do with the speed I'm going. I'm in first gear. Uh, I'm going to get a little cocky in round two here and uh, plug it up to second. second throttle down a little bit here enjoy the party reverse fourth second there we go let's go let's grow second gear right there we're getting it See, that stuff's got me all bunched up back there because I didn't burn this. I need to burn this field. This would plow nice.
And would you look at that? It's back in the shed. Just like it didn't do anything wrong. Beep, beep.